everyone, it's Gail. I am here to share my latest journal that I finished with all of you. Um, this journal is made with the Hummingbird Digi Kit from Tsunami Rose. So, um, starting with the cover, I used a uh, coffee dyed canvas. Um, I coffee dyed this piece of canvas and it just came out so cool that it was begging to be a cover. So, it's a fabric cover. Um, I decoupaged on a little bird napkin, sewed around it, and put metal corners on it and a Tim Holtz hitch post and seam binding closure. Um, I really, I wanted this to be simple. I think the person that um, gets this journal is going to use it as kind of a field notes type of journal and an on the go type of journal. So it's a nine by six, but um, I did want it to be able to be shoved in a backpack or whatever to be taken along. Um, and with that in mind, I didn't as heavily embellish as I normally do my journals, but, um, so she's got lots of writing space. So I'll show you what's inside. This is just my little note to the, to the gal that is going to receive this. We've got some Easter egg dyed paper that, um, kind of turned out blue and pink, um, the person that is getting this journal loves hummingbirds, lives in Arizona, and I don't know, that just reminded me of the sky, and um, here, let me get this up here. Here's the beautiful digital kit by Daisy at Tsunami, Ro Tsunami Rose. Um, then as I, as I kind of went along, I decided to use the clipped corners from um, wrapping the book with the um, canvas. It's also got fabric on the inside. But when I cut off the corners, I just loved how frayed and the coffee, how the coffee dye settled in. So I use those for tabs, all that to say. They are the tabs for the book. Um, here's one, just one of the few pockets. It's a, it's a muslin with the Tiffany stamp and I just have the homemade tags one of the postcards from the kit, and the story begins. So, um, yeah, and then a little tab on this page, and we'll just be able to flip through this pretty quickly. There's a flip up here, and in this flip up I have, um, this is one of the big elements to the kit that I shrunk down. Uh, just an extra little piece of the coffee dyed paper, uh, homemade tag, and another homemade tag in there. Then there's ruffles on the side, and I have on a bulb clip here, I don't know if I'll be able to get this in camera, but a friend gave me a hummingbird. It's supposed to be a little hummingbird, and it's like a ivory bead or something. So anyway, that was awesome because I could put that in this little book. Another little tab. Lots of writing space. Here's one of Crafty Irina's pockets. In the back, I have a homemade tag. And in this one that I just um, put uh, tissue paper on. And then this one all tucked in there. Oh, that's right. And it's loose. But um, the big elements came out after I'd already bound the book. And so I printed them out anyway. And I'm just, um, what I'm doing is just using a couple little Tim Holtz clips to clip those on one of the blank pages. So that'll give her a little extra journaling space there. Coffee dyed paper, Easter egg dyed. I love this kit, it's so pretty. 
This is the middle of the signature. I have a couple of the, I just punched out hearts out of the paper, a couple of the little hummingbirds. Um, I have fabric belly bands here with um, a couple of the postcards that have biblical uh, readings in them. And in the back on both sides, I have um, the shrunk down big elements. I have a trifold of the jars that she did, and then um, an extra piece of the paper. So, and then just big deep pockets in the middle. She'll be able to fill those up with whatever it is that, that's pretty one, I'll show you that. Um, yeah, she'll be able to fill it up with other things that she finds along the way that she would like to save. I uh, left all the strings so she can cut those off if, if they bother her at all. So, again, this is a big elements that's just clipped with a couple Tim Holtz paper clips there. Another Crafty Irina pocket. This one has one of the postcards. This is just a Project Life card that I put a little stamp on. Uh, and then one of the big elements that I kind of turned, I shrunk them so they'd be more like journaling cards. And, um, and then I have one of the small jars couple of those attached here and then just a homemade little journaling card there another tab this again is a flip and um, the journaling card is in there an extra piece of paper is in there um, made this tag with a Tim Holtz stamp and then this little journaling card as well those all tuck in there. Uh, one of Daisy's uh, envelopes and inserts, it's kind of the, the neutral palette, so I thought that would go well with this. And then that's the back. And then and on the back, what I did was I did a fabric pocket, just put a little lace on it, and I stuffed it full of all the all the ephemera that I didn't use. So little journaling cards, postcards, um, some of the some of the uh, jars as well. So she can cut those up and use them and pop them in as she wants to. And then just yesterday, Daisy came out with these things to do lists. And um, so this is obviously the hummingbird one that goes with this, but she's got a floral one and a butterfly one as well. And then these two, I just shrunk down to make them a little different size. So all of those extras, I've just tucked here in the back pocket for her and as she needs them she can put them into the to the book as they work for her so so that's it it was um the lady that i made this for is a very very special lady and so it was a privilege to make this book i really appreciate your watching and thank you again for all your kind comments and um, just your support of my channel thanks so much bye bye